Welcome back everybody, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of the Triple Crown Pillars of Eternity 3.0 run, uh, where we left off last time we just entered Shilali, or Shilali, I think it is called, Silali, whatever, it's called the ruins, the ruins that we stopped at when we had terrible diarrhea. And now we're just waiting for it to load, I thought it'd be, I honestly thought it'd be loaded by the time I finished my intro, but... Apparently it's slower than I anticipated. Yes, I get that. Thank you. What is so it? we have our three characters currently. Uh, we have our uh, moon god-like. We have a rogue who we saved need? from death. And we have a fighter what is it? who we also saved from death and also helped us to not die. Uh, we are going to be advancing kind of carefully. There is no quick save, so there's no real point in trying to quick save. Because um, we are playing Iron Man that mode. That should be far enough. But what now? Hayden's chest rises and falls visibly with each breath. We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. What happened out there? Kalisha shakes her head. Windstorm, of a kind they only get in Ear Glenfath. Not too many people live through them. It's hard to know what's true. The Glenfathan word is Beowak. To them, it's God's way is the God's way of reaping the souls of the land that couldn't find their own way out. But they'll take a living soul as soon as a dead one. Still got yours? Who attacked us? Glen Fathens, those would be the hut dwellers Odima warned you about. Looking to be fangs of Galloway, who were the twitchiest of the lot. They go ruin to ruin looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odima. I think he half expected this once we got lost, or once we lost the main road. The Glen Fathens said we tre trespassed in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odima would have never allowed it. But as much as the fangs are hotheads, Glen Fathens don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or. She glances down the passage beyond. Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. What about everyone else in the caravan? Kalisha's lips press together and her chin rumples. Her voice is faint. The wheel's got a hold of them now. She looks up. God's grant them better luck in the next lives. You don't seem to be too upset about this. Kalisha looks you in the eye, a volatile current running beneath her voice. Maybe you just don't know me well enough to know what upset looks like, and maybe I've seen worse too. Seen worse and kept on walking, because there's nothing else to be done. And because there's other people you care about who still need you. Let's get going. So, uh, anybody good at stealth in this group, actually? Who what are you like? Stealth 2 is moderately okay. It's better than anybody else's. How can I help? Oh, right. Can't yes. quick save. How can I help? We're going to very carefully explore the ruins of this place. Well? Hmm? Well, is here. Hmm? See if they left anything useful behind. Excellent. We found a secret. Wish. Well, not really How secret, but help? a room. Which has some camping supplies, a hammer and chisel, and a mace. Which is good, because we need a weapon. We chucked ours to save this dude's life. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Now we have an actual weapon again. Well... And we also have a small shield and a torch. Uh, what kind of shield are we using? I think we're using a small, sh no, we have a medium shield. Uh, 12 deflection, minus 4 accuracy, or 8 deflection, but no negative accuracy. That being said, yes. we want the more deflection option. How can I help? And so let's move on a little bit here. Let's stop here for a mm -hmm. sec. We're going to just quickly uh, glance into this next room. I believe there are enemies around here somewhere. Looks pretty safe here what so far. Hmm? Okay, let's check in here. We're not going to go across the bridge that way just yet. Aha! There's a Zurup in here. I need you to get past him. Okay, that should be good. Yes. There's only one of them in here. A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobbly elbows and thin ribs show through its scaled flesh, but you recognize it as a Zurup. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged side or sighs. It's okay, I won't hurt you. The Zorup recoils, fingers still wrapped around tightly around its spear. 
The creature cocks its head and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. The creature sniffs around you and finds nothing of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. I will raise my arms and stand still. It approaches us again, stop clicking again, doesn't do anything. I'll tear you to part, lizard. The Zorb's eyes narrow as it hisses at you. It lunges, raising the spear. Okay, disengage. Don't want him to tank. I just wanted him to stop it from moving as much as possible. As you wish. Now, How can I help? he's got lots of life still, so we're still good on that account. Let's carefully make our way down this hallway. Everything in this playthrough is going to be very, very careful, though. Ooh, an Anguithan Relief Gem. Fancy. Tattered journal, leather armor. We'll read the journal really quickly. This small folio is torn in several places, and blood is soaked into several of the sheets. One later entry is still legible, however. I can't believe I found my er, can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice and I've got my hands on a genuine and with an artifact. Fellow who had it says it was pretty it was a pretty nothing, as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some ruins, but if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, then that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to Chelan Lee in the morning, then it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about. Alright. So we have the well, relief gem. Hmm? Wait. Do you hear that? Hear what? I don't hear that. There's a scolder whelp. Is it just the one? No, oh, that, that's too close. Yes. Okay, I think it's just the one. So let's get in a defensive posture. And you can come over here. Actually, are you good with bows? I guess it doesn't really matter. He's got cracked ribs, but that's not a huge difference. Let's give him a crossbow for now. We'll loot his stuff before we lose him. Because none of these characters are actually sticking with us. Yes. Just as a heads up. Alright. Let's take him down. He shouldn't be too hard to kill. She's stunned. Which is mildly annoying, but not super bad, I guess. We have lots of life, and there goes a whelp. We are, well, I guess we're getting kind of close-ish to a level. Slowly but well. surely. I think this place is relatively safe now. We'll quickly uh, take a look, though. Well. That looks weak. Could be a shortcut. A crack rungs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through it. Push on the wall. Despite the damage, the stone looks heavy and solid. Send Kalisha. Kalisha pushes with all her might, and the crack begins to spread. Finally, the ancient masonry gives way, and the wall crashes down, revealing a circular room ahead. How can I help? Let's take a quick peek. There could be enemies. See what's... There is a starved skelter whelp. That's exactly what I want you to do. One starved skelter whelp, and another skelter whelp. Yes. Shouldn't be too hard to kill. What is... Oh, there's three. Okay. That's slightly more annoying. What do you have for skills? You have a knockdown, right? I want you to knock down that one. Except I think she's stunned. Wait, what does that do? Dirty attack. I'm able to see. It inflicts extra damage. Yeah. Let's blind that target. Knock down the other one. Or not. Or we'll miss entirely and uh I get a stun fighter. Okay, one's dead. Next one. We have a lay on hands in case this gets out of hand. Wow, his damage is insane with sneak attack. Maybe I should get a rogue in my group for later. That healing is so worthwhile for the moon guy. Moon god like. As you wish. It's really good. Okay, so that worked out relatively well. Not exactly what we were hoping for. There was a third one I didn't see, which is not the best situation for us to be in. We're going to have to be a little more careful in the future, but let's look around the room, make sure we're not missing anything. 
we also need to find that relief. I think that might be a little bit later on in here, or possibly over here. Let's go take a look. It can't hurt. What you need? Well, I mean, it could hurt, but... We'll just have ourselves a little meander. Oh, right, I remember this. Those tiles look Where's suspicious. Look? Let's be careful. Yes. I do remember this very, very vividly. Those symbols. Just like the tiles. Anything in here? Okay, I... The one thing I can't remember is what these things do. A symbol of interwoven rings inscribed on this pillar. An unlit brazier sits at the base. It could be lit if you had the means. Well, I have torches. Everyone here has torches. Okay. Magical torch must be. Okay, really quickly though, before we do anything else. Actually, there's no point in putting it on her either. Uh, torches really aren't worth any money, so of the things to carry around, it's not going to be the torches. And the dagger, I think, and this leather armor. I wonder if I can move any of this to my stash. Like the wolf hides. Yes, you can, but you can't get it back out. Or you can. Oh, right, I have to go to town. Okay, so that's true. Can't get it back. No big deal. We're not going to worry about it too much. Yes. How can I help? Let's move a tiny bit past. What is it? Where's my fighter? What's there she need? is. Well? Hmm? And what's in here? Well, this is in a very, very carefully moving help? rogue, with backup only seconds behind him. Because despite yes. not using these characters later on, they are still important for us currently. What you need? Oh, easy there. Lesser black oozes. Of course. <laughs> Run away. Run past our guys. Hopefully that'll slow them down enough that we can just kill the... Kill these off one at a time. Really is what I've wanted to do. Because they... I'm actually getting fairly low in life. Like in terms of absolute health. Pretty low. Of course. Okay. Hmm? Now... What else do we have in here? Oh, he's holding the bow. Look at that. He's kind of holding it really weirdly. Okay. So we got rid of two primordials. Looks like that's all of them in this room. What's that muck on the wall? That's ooze, you dumbass. A Pollux. How much health do you have? 59. So he's about a full health bar. Which I guess is acceptable for now. We will have to rest soon though. A viscous slick of something dark and tar-like runs down this wall. It shapes and bulges in the ooze suggests that something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. I'll clear off the ooze. He rinse the ooze away, revealing the intricate relief of a man's face. The sunburst surrounding it has chipped away in places, but the details of his head, from the tight curls of hair to the ridges on his pointed ears, still showcase a remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty, a gem fills the other. Place the gem in the other socket. The chamber begins to rumble, stray rocks dancing across the tile floor. Eventually a large section of the wall gives away. How can I help? I think there's more oozes. In fact, I know that there's more oozes. I can see one right now. Yeah. What? Oh. I wish you hadn't missed. No Come on. Hit it for like 30 like you were doing before. 
six, I guess, is okay, but it's no 30. Okay, good. How can I help? Let's take a quick peek. Yes. Inside the room, I think there's just... Yes, there's just this. So there's an Amethyst, an Adra, and a Minor Cloak of Protection. That is super duper useful right now in the beginning of the game. That Cloak of Protection is almost vital in this thing. Because look, watch my defenses. So 43, 25, 42, 50, and now it's 43, 30, 47, 55. It's super duper helpful in the beginning of the game to get that extra bonus. Especially since we're like really yes. low on life. And that ends that. That's a, a good little thing that we've done. Now, do I have to equip a torch? Yes. Or do I need a flint and tinder? I might need that. Let's try a torch. Use my torch. And my torch. And the torch. What you need? Yes. I don't remember if lighting the last one causes problems. But I don't think need? they do. Well. All right. So that should, in theory, disable a good portion of the traps. You can still see where the rest of them are. They're still glowing. Not all of them get disabled. We don't actually need to go across there just yet anyways. We're going to go down this way. I keep going for the quick save. I really, really do. It's such a bad habit to get into. Especially this early on. There is no quick save. There well, is no... Of course. There's no backup. There's no relief. If well, I get killed... In this, I die. That is... That's all there is. That's all she wrote. What is it? Um, let's put all the torches, actually. Except for one, just in case to the stash along with like this extra armor and stuff we don't really need it currently and we might as well leave it there well you are not our stealther you are what is it fresh air in here i think we found mm -hmm. an exit looks like the storms passed too there's a spiderling here what is it so what i think we might do mm -hmm. Set up about here. Well, Tank in front. Fighter slightly back, not too far. How can I help? How can you help? You can shoot the spider. Run, 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 run. Freak. One dead. It's a good start to the fight. That hurt. Okay, he he definitely needs to rest. Although I'm hoping we can get out of here before we rest. I think we I might be able to. We're pretty close to being done with this initial area. And I know that we could probably just brute force our way through this whole area. It's not super hard, and in reality, we could just crush our way through, most likely. I'm doing it this way, this very careful, methodic way, because I want to adopt this playstyle throughout the well, entire game. Running into areas, as people have seen in my normal playthrough, can be utterly disastrous. What is it? It's a hmm? good way to die. Hmm? There should only be a couple spiderlings in here. There's a big spider though. That's bad news. Let's see if we can't get a knockdown. And that's really it. Hmm? Okay, one's dead. Uh, I will get her to tank that one for now. She's got more health. And if I can kill that one, we'll have an easy go of the last one. This is a famished spear spider, by the way. You can see it's causing some damage to us, but we shouldn't have too much trouble killing it. And that's that. Went for the quick save again. Such a bad habit. <laughs> we should also keep our inventory clean. That's another habit I got to get out of. Is uh, mm -hmm. just letting everything go to stash. 
because it doesn't work so well in this mode. A rapier. You know what? I will not put that in my stash. I'll give it to you. The bloodstone, however, can go straight into the stash. Well, there's also something here. Let's read it really quickly. Bats as large as chickens are strung in this web. It's not creepy at all. There's also another path here. We're gonna quickly How can I help? glance around, and then that's gonna be the end of the video. I think we're gonna go do the cutscene, and that's gonna be it. A helmet, you say? Look at that. Give it that to him. Agate and Jasper's can go straight into our stash. Uh, he does not have very good mechanic skills, so let's quickly check if there's anything else hidden in this room. Mechanic skill is used, well. weirdly, because you think it would be perception, but it's actually just your mechanic skill to search for secrets. I don't think I missed any. But if I did, I'm sure somebody will well. point it out, and I'll be like, damn it, I missed that. It's perfectly acceptable to miss a couple things. All right. So we are going into the last portion of this first area. Four figures stand before an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled adra and metallic veins, ominous and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it with what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them. A thick gray beard frames a face otherwise hidden beneath the metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a large, with runic language unlike anything you have ever seen, and he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jet out like the wings of some malevolent creature. Oathbinder, bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favor. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. He addressed to the petrified body. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother? In the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw, step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. The man passes his gaze over the other standing before him. He looks each in the eye in turn. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still. Then all at once it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land. The pain wells into the back of your skull, washing away your last thoughts into the black unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end, a great pillar of Adra pierces the floor from below, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you have seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours, and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them. And they are all questions, pressing questions, troubling questions, questions that must be answered, or... or... At the base of the pillar, or pillar now, you see a man with thick gray beard and a ceremonial robe, crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You are walking towards him now at a pace that is hurried while not trying to appear so. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all, and the question spins madly in your mind. But the question does not get answered. You awaken to find your malaise has broken, only to be replaced with something more, far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. 
movement flits through your periphery, but when you look down or look turn to look, you can see no. Ugh. But when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whoever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntary paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Hayden and Kalisha lie bloody on the uneven cobblestones, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. You are alone and far from help. Gilded Vale may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. And we have gained our very first level as well. So, we're going to throw all of this junk in the stash, including the scale armor. And we are going to level up as well. So, our first level, we are going to take athletics. Oh, we don't have mechanic skill. Sorry, I don't know why we thought we had mechanic skill. We're going to take some athletic skill. And a couple more points in lore. We want to be able to use scrolls with our paladin because they are fairly important on Path of the Damned. I know we didn't use them a whole lot in uh, our normal playthrough because we don't really need them all that much. But in Path of the Damned, scrolls will play a, a considerable role. Um, as for our first choice of ability, we are most likely going to go to defensive abilities. These are all incredibly good. The Stinks Reflexes, the Bear's Fortitude, and the Bull's Will. They're all really, really good. Again, and so is this shield deflection bonus. The other thing we want to look at is a weapon focus as well. Maybe not immediately, but soon. Let's take a look at some of the other abilities we can get, though. Like Untroubled Faith, plus 4 deflection, plus 8 all defenses except deflection. So that's quite good. Um, deep Faith is, again, more defenses. It uh, gives you more, def or more defenses, basically. Uh, the Black Path, it's an AoE, and it can frighten people. Acolyte's Radiance is a spell. Uh, it does like a Holy Radiance type effect. We're not going to be getting that. Uh, sneak Attack it gives you more damage, as if you had Sneak Attack. Aspirant's Mark, uh, you can get uh, like a debuff on your enemies for negative 8 Deflection and negative 8 Reflex, and so on and so forth. So many abilities to get. We will be getting some of these as we go, but the ones that we kind of want to go with are like the Untroubled Faith is really quite good. Deep Faith is also really good as well. So, I mean, that is probably what we're going to get. Hold the Line is also quite good, so you can engage more enemies at once. And the Snake's Reflexes, Bulls, or Bear Fortitude, Bulls, Will are all very important as well. Uh, so these abilities are not ones we're going to go for immediately, like Field Triage and Wound Binding, Quick Switch, and these. They're not super important. And in all honesty, the offensive abilities aren't super important yet either. They will be eventually, and we will be getting, we will be picking a type. I think we're probably going to go with Knight uh, for Swords or Morning Stars, or maybe something like Noble for Mace, Scepter Rod, stuff like that. But I think the ability we are going to go with is. Um, actually, I think it's going to be Weapon and Shield style, just because I do want the deflection bonus added to the reflex save as well as plus six deflection normally uh we could the thing about untroubled faith is um fate your paladins have an ability called faith and conviction and what faith and conviction does is it increases your deflection and all defenses by a certain amount every time you gain a conversation or role-playing aspect that your faction your paladin faction is aligned with. So for us, it's cruel and aggressive. And so for each of those, we get up, up to a maximum of three, up to cruel three, aggressive three, we'll get defensive bonuses. Now what Untroubled Faith does, um, if you do actions that are against your faction's choice, so if you're role-playing, for example, Benevolent, and you are cruel, or you're supposed to be a bleak walker, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be cruel, it will actually give you negatives to your defenses because you're not going along with your... Um, your faction's, you know, alignment type thing. So Untroubled Faith will allow you to get the bonuses regardless of the negative impact of your of doing other things than your faction dictates. That being said, we're not going to try and do that. So this is pretty good. Um, this allows um, deflection, sorry, um, gives more deflection in all defenses except deflection. So uh, that's good too, but we are going to go with the sword and shield style. And that is what we are going to take. So, 
Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. We're going to continue on towards Gilded Vale. It's going to be a very dangerous adventure, and there's totally someone getting tortured there. Anyways, take care, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.